Malibu boats is cheap. Actually, when we look at our stock ranking, it is right there near the top. But does it mean it is a good investment? It may be cheap, but if the company is no good, it can still be a value trap. Malibu Boats is an American manufacturer of recreational boats. They operate three major brands in the industry. Malibu Boats, Axis Wake and Cobalt Boats. And this company is going through some major changes. We just recently learned that the CEO, Jack Springer, will be departing the company in May 2024. The company also anticipates net sales decline in 2024 of somewhere around 35% year over year. But we have to remember that the leisure boat industry is cyclical and such a decline may be a sign of just that. If you were to invest $1,000 into this company 10 years ago, you could buy around 43 shares. And now they would be worth something close to $1,795. And that is a gain of 79.5% in 10 years. It is okay because we would not lose our money, but not really what we are looking for. But if we had sold when the stock was at its peak three years ago, we would have realized a gain of almost 400%. So right now it is down by 53% and that can create an interesting investment opportunity. So uh, let's check it out. Individual Insiders, that is an X. 1.4% of the company is owned by individual insiders and we would like to see this number over 2%. And are individual insiders buying? That is a check. In February, Michael Hooks, who right now is the executive chairman, but he may become a new CEO of this company, bought 12 and a half thousand shares worth well over half a million dollars. So that is a very positive sign. And do super investors own this company? That is an X. We don't see any super investors putting their money into Malibu boats. Return on invested capital. That is a check at 21.4% 10 year median returns. And we want to see this number higher than 10%. So such a result shows that the management is doing a nice job, but the management is changing and so can the results. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 5.3% and the industry average is around 3.5%. So it is an okay margin. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is a massive X. In the last 10 years, they issued extra 85.7% of shares. That is some very bad news because long-term investors are getting diluted in a massive way. If you owned 2% of the company now, you would own around 1.1%. But hopefully, they issue those shares not to get into a lot of debt. It is a check. It would take only around half a year to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. Revenue growth. That is a check at 23.6% 10-year compound annual growth rate. So that is some impressive growth. And free cash flow growth? That is a check at 18.9% in the last 10 years. And just as with revenue, we would like to see this number higher than 10%. So yet again, some nice results. And earnings per share growth? That is a check at 25.4%. So even though it is a cyclical industry, this company is growing in the long term. It is still influenced by the economic cycles, but when we look at the big picture, it is 
expanding really nicely. Malibu Boats is currently not paying any dividends and remembering the growth and the cyclicality, well, it makes sense. They want to expand, they want to have more cash for some tough years, so dividends would actually hurt the stability and growth of this company. Price to earnings ratio is 13.4, so that is rather low for today's standards. But we will use a discounted cash flow formula to value Malibu boats. And for that, we will make three scenarios of its future growth. And we will use a five-year average free cash flow and not the recent one for this calculation, because in case of cyclical businesses, this long-term perspective can actually give us a more realistic view of the company. So in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 6% for the first five years and then 5%. In the medium, 12% and then 10%. And in the high scenario, 18% and then 15% growth. So the low scenario is close to the predicted growth of the leisure boat industry, which is around 5.8%. Medium is predicting that Malibu boats will grow twice as fast as the market. And the high one is close, but still lower than the growth of this company that we saw in the past few years. So with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $74, in the medium $111, and in the high scenario $166. But we have to always apply a margin of safety to those prices. I use a 30% one. And with such a margin, we get in the low scenario $52, in the medium $78, and in the high one $116. And the current price is around $41. So it is all in the green. Malibu Boats is still cheap. So this company will go through some meaningful changes with a new CEO. And that is an important unknown. Because great management can steer a company into a bright future, but a wrong person can destroy it. Financial health is nice, but they are diluting investors like crazy. So, well, that is not good. Long-term growth is great and the price is very appealing. So even with our new calculations and updated data, this company is still pretty high on our stock ranking. And if you would like to get access to it and compare all the companies we analyzed on this channel, then the link is in the description. But as I said at the beginning, this company expects a decline in sales this year. And because it is a cyclical industry, such decline or stagnation can last for a very long time. If you enjoyed this video, you may want to see my analysis of ST Microelectronics, which is another company with a surprising price. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.